welcome back from match five. This is Old Man Pool. We won the die roll. We're playing first. Oh, hmm. This is awfully sketchy. I would like it better if the desert wasn't a desert. I think we still keep it with two lands. If we get to four mana, we're in pretty good shape. We do have unquenchable first thirst on the way up. We can cycle the river winder, the eliminations. I am going to keep it. It is definitely risky, though. We're going to get three draws, draw land, I guess. Eh, yeah, it's not so bad. I think we do keep. Definitely not a, like, whirlwind slam, but I think it's probably okay. Let's try it with the desert. Yeah. Kind of works out either way, because if we play the island, we cycle uh, into... Well, that's true the island first, then we do it twice. Yeah, that would have been better. Eh, details. Details. But yeah. Should have done island first. I was thinking it wouldn't matter one way or the other. But I guess if we hit a gust walker, it's better. Yeah, look at us. Mising for value. I'm sure that was absolutely intentional, and not just sheer dumb luck, which we've enjoyed a lot of this match. Like, a lot, a lot. Yeah, let's get in with our Gustwalker. And gonna plan on cycling the River Winder, I think, to make sure we hit our land drop. Then we can play Vizier the Anointed, and that should give us some good value to go for a while. Nice. Uh, are we okay trading here? I think we are. Don't think we want to use the Unquenchable Thirst. We'd rather play a or more valuable spells. So let's swing. I imagine he doesn't block. Oh, Alright, I'm okay with that too. And we'll play our Vizier the Anointed. And go and get some serious value. We would. I think we're just going to get the Champion of Wits. I think it's more likely that the hard advantage is going to matter against my opponent that seems to be playing a little bit of a slower deck with Traveler's Amulets and a Desert. Ooh, Vizier of the Anointed as well. I wonder if he's also getting a Champion of Wits. That would be funny. Talk Crop Skirmisher. Not quite as exciting. Uh, okay, I think we're just gonna wait and play Hieroglyphic Illumination here. So he gets to draw immediately off his Skirmisher, which is a pretty good value for sure. Ooh, that's not bad either. That might get thirsted. We don't have tons of way to interact with flyers. Okay. Ooh, Dauntless Haven. Actually, well, I kind of like just thirsting it because then he can't embalm it. Isn't that sketchy? We're really close to River Serpent being on. We could just use Kefnets. That's, I think, a little bit premature. Play Dauntless Aven and Sunscourge Champion. Neither of those swing particularly well. We can trade three for two every turn. I think we are going to use the Unquenchable Thirst, and I think I'm going to just play the Daunt Dauntless Aven. Tap that guy down. Alright. And then River Serpent should be a pretty good effect soon. We're actually only one land away from playing Champion of Wits too, which will definitely uh, give us some value late game as well. Ritualist. I think I want to keep save Kefnets in case he drops like a Sandor Convergence or something. It's definitely a fear this high up. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and swing with our Dauntless Haven. Get in for a couple points of damage anyway. And we'll play a River Serpent. I don't think we need to keep up Sandblast. It's not real likely he's going to be swinging with anything here, I don't think.
Oh, I kind of want to just play Sandworm Convergence. We did tap out. All right. No, no, no immediate crazy value. He's got to have something like that. God Pharaoh's Gift. Even like the Splendor. Unparalleled Splendor. Ooh, Ketra. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Or if we just steal that, probably. Probably, probably. And it's unfortunate that's not a aggressive land. I think we just take it though. And we even get to make one ones with it. Seems pretty good. We do that, swing with the other or swing with the river serpent. Yeah. Too good. To untap the river serpent. Hopefully he doesn't have Saturn Convergence or the like. Wastes Ritualist and Oketra don't necessarily go in the same deck, so he's probably still got some other big powerful effect. We might just be able to run him over before he gets there anyway. Oketra is going to hurt quite a bit. Oh, Sandworm. Desert Sold. Okay. Well. That's two for one, our opponent. And actually, we get to keep making one ones, so. A little bit of value. Ah, nice. Sand Bearer's not a bad draw. Um, do we just want to swing with the River Serpent? Do we, don't want, to, do we want to wait? Don't really love just trading it for... Well, I guess he has to triple block, so we gotta kill off two things. Still not even that great. It's better if we have a Sandblast, which we will next turn. I think we're just gonna swing the Dauntless Haven. We don't need to force the issue on the ground. Ooh. Oh, farm, all right. Not bad. Not super unhappy that we got rid of that, though. Alright. So... Probably next turn, Eternalize or Champion of Wits. Ooh, Riverwinder's good. Certainly big. Big does matter a lot, especially on this board state. Get red. Why is this so little? Why? My cross to bear. Analyst. I think we're just gonna... Well... Well, yeah, we're probably just gonna pitch it. Getting to Earthquake for Bajillion is something that'll be good eventually, but... Not completely necessary quite yet. Bring this guy back, draw a bunch of cards. Pitch a couple of things. Certainly throw out some lands if necessary. Ooh. Um well, I don't actually love casting heaven. Killing that off at some point is probably bad for us. Break's pretty good. So maybe we just pitch like Manolith. Earth, or maybe we want to keep Manolith so we can wipe the board if necessary. A little bit nice that it kills off just about everything, but not Noketra. Hmm. We could just go with our usual plan of Central Gurge Champion. Yeah, that might be better to eternalize anyway. We pitch this. Pitch this, I guess. Just keep playing for the slow game. All right. Now well, we got a lot of cards. Just turns out champions, Champion of Wits is really good. Cycles the Desert. Lunar Drink, I think, is going to be our fastest threat. Um, 
I'm still a little bit worried my punch is gonna have a random sandworm convergence or Godfrey's gift or something big. But maybe he's just playing like river winders off the ritualist. Kind of like river winders are our top end. Mm. Okay. Drawing two and discarding two. Farmer Market doing good work here. I'm not sure we've actually played. I mean, we played Market once. I remember there was definitely a time where we should have played Market a turn earlier, but I think we actually drew out of it really luckily. Okay. Ooh, that's a good pitch. Is that like a good one? So I think it's not super unreasonable to wipe the board. Main problem is the Ava initiate gets to come back from my opponent. Let's see, we have 8 mana, we have Manalith, we can Angler Drake. Probably the best. Or even Bounds. I guess like my opponent's Ritualist maybe. Maybe we'd rather wait and get the my opponent's Kenra. In which case, maybe we should play the Sun Scourge. Hmm. Play Angular Drake right now and starts getting in pretty quickly. Even if we're not bouncing anything in particular, the uh, four power flyer might be pretty good. Yeah, I kind of like doing that before he has. Tons of answers in this hand. Um, I mean, I guess like Ritualist probably. Relatively expensive, doesn't give him value. Yes, yeah, so we'd like to use the ability. Hmm. Now we just kind of hope that Angler Drake gets there, I think. Sunset Pyramid, okay. Well, that definitely is a good one. i draw a bunch of cards here. Maybe help him find his way out. We do have a couple of ways to remove flyers. So hopefully we can ride this Angler Drake to victory. Doesn't seem like he has anything that immediately interacts. And keep. I probably should hold land for Sunscrew's Champion at some point. Probably like this point. Okay, yeah, we'll get in with our Angler Drake. Maybe use River Serpent at some point and chop through a couple things, but I just don't feel like that's going to do all that much. On this next turn, we might tap, tap, and then try and get through with a. It's a little bit interesting, because we could tap down, like, those two big creatures and then potentially use Earth to wipe the rest of his board and hit in. Yeah, it's interesting. Certainly worth considering. Okay, I guess to draw again. He is definitely on the uh, card advantage, advantage engine here. I wonder if there's a way we can win next turn. We definitely make some one ones here. Okay. To draw brings back his resilient counter. Doesn't give trample though, it just makes it big, right? Gonna crash in. Okay. I think we'll just jump block it. Oh, huh. activate Billy's can't be activated. Here I am talking about all sorts of things that are just not all that exciting. Um, we just take nine. Pretty unlikely he kills us here. Let's see. So, tap that down. Play Earth, Heaven and Earth. Kill, kill. I have to still got two blockers. Block, block, 
Or yeah, it's not even that absurd yet. I think we've got this game more or less in hand, but let's play it safe for sure. You just block with a fan bearer. Just take nine. It's very unlikely he has anything that really gets us. I think we're just gonna take nine. After lots after lots of consideration. Okay, so we tap one thing down. We have one, two, three, four, five. So tap, 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 and we've got lethal, right? With open fire. So we just need to get one point in. Let's tap that guy down. We don't even have to show him an earth. Tap that guy and that guy, and we've got two blockers. That gets in. Block, block. Okay. Tap. Tap. Swing with everything, but open fire finish probably. I'll see if he's got anything that you can put together here. All right, got there, got there. All right, so opponent playing kind of big dirtily deck two has Oketra. Tons else that we saw, although just sort of a big mana game. I don't think we need the early drops. I do think Fanbear is good, despite the fact that Striped River Winder seems to be one of his attack forces. And I don't think we're changing anything. I think that we're already about as uh, good for the control matches we can get. We could maybe bring in Seer. We thought it went really late, but I don't think we need to. All right. See if we can take out Gallatin and earn that sweet, sweet 5-0. Yeah. One is going first. Ugh. Had a lot of like kind of questionable hands. We've had a lot of questionable keeps, and we've been rewarded a lot. <laughs> We find blue, hand is fine. Hand's quite good if we find blue. Do a fan bear to stall for a minute. I think I am gonna keep it. We need to find blue. Yeah, well, I don't know. This is probably outside of maybe the uh heaven and earth keep that we had, the worst keep we've had. But like the sketchiest keep. Yeah, that's that's the reason why it's sketchy. <sighs> At least we can play something, but all right. All right. Well, let's find that uh that island, boy. Tap down the stalwart. Does have a follow up? Okay, that's a land. It's not a fast land, but it's a land. We'll take. Two, or he'll drop a really good threat here. We could just remove the Weaver, it's a little bit interesting. If he's gonna beat, it's not all that different actually. Yeah, we should maybe should have. Because then he couldn't use it for mana. In the beginning combat step. Yeah, that actually might have been a better play. It's a little bit counterintuitive since the Stalwart is definitely what you think of as the beatdown, but if he gave us that opportunity, we should have gone for it. Alright, let's go get blue. And hopefully keep finding lands. We're a little bit behind, but not outrageously. I'm just gonna play Champion of Wits. I want to sure we find another land. Or at least help us find another land. Okay, a Manolith. And it's a little bit slow. I think we can't afford to hold on to the Riverwinder. And probably can't afford to 
illumination. So I think we'll keep the island and the manolith. Well, manolith is well. Hmm. Manolith's like a bad land. I think we do want it though. All right, and we'll pass. So I will definitely trade my champion of wits if my opponent gives us gives me the opportunity. Probably just gonna swing to exert. Okay. We'll take a little bit here, but not terribly. Not a terrible hit. Land obviously be a good draw. Hey, quarry hauler. And Vizier. Alright, well, opponent's effectively emptied his hand. We're definitely behind here. Oh man, not a land. Alright, so we're probably gonna use Unquenchable Thirst just to avoid immediate death. <laughs> no, I guess we'll just use Fanbearer. Next turn, we may be able to cast Angler Drake. Let me use Thirst now. He's got all the mana he's ever going to want. So it's kind of tempting to hold on to the Thirst, but on the other hand, I think we do need to make better tempo plays here. It would be pretty important. We tap down the Quarry Hauler. Well, it doesn't even tap down quite yet. Uh, we still take a chunk next turn. We just tap it down. It's out. You can only realistically swing with two, the two two fours. Yeah, I think I'm just going to tap. I think we want to save the thirst. Ugh, hopefully we don't get run over any more than we already are. Angler Drink is a really good tempo swing, though. Sandblast isn't bad. Kind of wish we kept the Riverwinder. Well, I don't know. It'd be another dead card in hand right now. It just has the advantage of being a very good um, stop for my opponent. I want to keep the Champion of Wits around because it forces exerting and keeps the Weaver of Currents at bay. We'll take four here. From the 2 4 offensive. Which I personally find quite offensive. Oh, oh, oh. Big. Okay, just the initiate. Angler Drake. Land, land, land. Give me the land. Darn it. Okay. Let's see. We play Manolith. It costs us two. We got four mana after that. Can't play Inquishable Thirst and something else. We can't play Inquishable Thirst and tap something else, though. We tap down that, play Thirst there. Okay. And continue playing the Try Not to Die game. Get rid of him for good. Oh wait, I miscounted, didn't I? Uh, maybe I counted the mana left twice? Let's see, because we have five mana, yeah, I guess I get six. Uh, okay. In that case... I mean, I don't know if our play changes. I think we still use the Thirst. Oof. Maybe, maybe we should just cycle the Riverwinder and try and find a land right now. Well, no. If we find one more land, it's in play. We've done all the work of playing our mana list, so I guess we should at least keep the payoff. Alright. Getting beaten, for sure. This turn... That can't attack. That will swing for three, so we take six. N, potentially? Ouch. I think we do chump block. Yeah, I don't know if we've got enough here. Let's see. So we play to our outs. We actually can't even get um, heaven to earth here. It's too slow. 
Let's see, we take 10 or we could chump block twice. We chump block, we live a little better. We're gonna try and play Angler Drake next turn, removes that, puts one blocker in place, so we got three to swing. I don't think chump blocking is much different this turn or next. I guess we just wait. All right, down to one. I think we do cycle the river winder. Oh, no desert yet. Eh, planes. Okay, so we have six mana to work with. Means we can drop an angler drake, bounce that, but we still don't have enough to stay alive. So you got four swings. We only have three blockers. Play Dauntless Haven, Sandblast is the same effect. And we still are one mana short. All right. GG got run over. Took a little bit too long dirtling. The mana list definitely slowed us down there. But 1-1. One, one. And we are on the draw this time, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I think maybe a little bit more beat down than I thought he was. Maybe we want to bring in like a impeccable timing here. Yeah, maybe even God for us faithful. I think we do have the late game if we get to the late game, so I just want to stall. Take out a river winder and a river serpent, I think. Alright. I think that's a little bit better. I just played a little bit more defensively. The first game it kinda of, maybe just had kind of a bad draw, but it didn't look like he was that crazy aggressive. Oh uh, man. It's close to. I think we I think we will keep. We need to find a land of any kind, but and we've had a lot of close hands. Alright. Draw a land. We have two land or two drops to do it. We do we get manolith. We're just not that bad off. We don't, I think we get run over. Here's hope into a land. No, no plan turn two is nice land? Nice. Rewarded for our greed. Get my cat down there. And we can get to play our fan bear. Look at this value. Next turn we can play Vizier the Anointed. I don't want Scrumpy with you. You've been fed. Alright, we're tight on time. My cat didn't help. Um, so we can play Manolith for two and then play Gustwalker, and that seems okay. Just keep advancing our board. I'm not going to swing this into a potential pouncing cheetah. That seems not all that great. We'll just pass here. One point of damage doesn't matter that much, I don't think. Alright, no cheetah. It's possible he has something like impeccable timing or sandblast too. Okay. Even initiates pretty good. So don't quite have the Angler Drake yet. Um, I think I'll swing with the Gustwalker. The Angler Drake will get rid of the Aven Initiate eventually, which is kind of nice. Let's see if he wants to trade. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Yeah. Okay. There, Vizier. Again, the longer we stall, I think the better we're off, though, so. I would love to use that ability. Get that sweet Sun Scourge champion into the bin. And our hand is pretty loaded. Okay, that's fine. Land would be good. Ooh, Heaven and Earth is interesting. So, we played a little bit slower to make sure the Heaven and Earth gets going. We could also. Internalize just this right now. Mm, I kind of don't love doing this because we already have a really good hand. Maybe we'll pitch champion of bits. Oh, we get, do get to. Yeah, I think that's actually maybe better. Discard champion, draw a card. It's a land that's great. And gain a bunch of life. I land and pass.
At some point, Heaven will probably get to snipe this even initiate. And then Earth will be pretty good against my opponent, I imagine. Yeah, maybe should have tapped it down there. And now he's being suspicious. Huh, interesting. Probably would have tapped it down there, given the good choice. Ooh, Angler Drake is good against us. So we can still play Earth and kill it though, right? Yep. Just pretty good too. So he gets value there, but not an extraordinarily high amount. Uh, fairly possible he does the even initiate next turn, but we have Angler Drake to answer that anyway. Again, I don't want to run into a random pump spell. Okay. With both. Uh, so we spent almost a minute on that though. That was not very good for time economy. I always play too slowly. Bring back the even initiate. You know you want to. Right. Crop Skirmisher is a good one, certainly. Aerial Guide's pretty good too. I'll take our. Okay, let's swing with our Vizier. Um, nah, that's not even good. It's a double block, and that's not what we love to see. What's that? And then we have a 4-4 four, four in the air. We'll play Dauntless Aven next turn. We can Impeccable Timing away uh, his Aven Initiate if he brings it back. Or the Aerial Guide, as case may be necessary. And we have Captain's Last Word, which is good too. We need to play fast. Can't afford to think too much about our plays from here on out. Okay. Good. Draws his free card. Ooh, Pride Sovereign. I think we just steal that, right? So we swing. Let's take that guy. In there. And then we'll play our Dauntless Haven. And the next turn we have Impeccable Timing up. The Dream. Okay, not gonna bother blocking with that. Butterbocker step, no blocks. Remove that guy. Oh, we can't, we don't have mana for yet. <laughs> Manolith, next turn, next turn, Manolith. Well, that should probably use the Pride Sovereign. Okay, let's go to attacks. Hope he doesn't have a good interaction with these two. On the Pride Sovereign. At the Pride Sovereign. Add some cats. That's pretty sweet, stealing this. Uh, farm. Okay. And then we'll get to make some more cats again. So we do want to keep the Pride Sovereign up for a potential block. And we still get some great value out of that. That was a very good Kefnas for last word. Our last word. Okay. It's in for a decent amount here. No swings. I like no swings. Okay, so we can just tap that down. Do we even love that? Um, so let's swing with our Dauntless Haven. Okay. 
kill off my defense aerial guide. I assume he's blocking with. Oh, okay. Hmm, encounter spell, he does. Alright, nope, don't have anything. Alright, pass. 1.50 left on our clock. We took a long time. <laughs> It's always what costs me in the end. Okay, just like that even initiate. Okay, let's bring back our champion of wits here. Get a bunch of value. We would love to. Thank you. Ooh, well, <laughs> less value than we thought. And with this guy. Timing. All right, and we still can wipe the board, but it's not the best with all these one ones running around. Next turn we hieroglyphic illumination. Okay, I'm getting some value off market here. Kind of looking for that desert, honestly. Not bad. Our thirst. Oh, I should have played that a turn earlier. Um, let's just use the thirst on that. Remove it. Trades. Next turn we plop that down and swing for a lot is the plan. Sunset Pyramid. Tap and remove that guy. Yeah, we took too long. Uh, yeah, timed out, unfortunately. I think we could have won this game for sure had we not run into the time limit there at the end. Uh, fool's errand. Point goes to one. Oh man. Ah, oh, we're so close. The Donald Saban gets in too. No, no, no. Ah, oh. uh, man. I have punished. Punished hard. Ah, oh, man. We had it, too. He had no defender for the, the air. Ah. Oh. 
Well, I mean, I often play pretty slow and then definitely got punished for it here. Ah, oh, Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I do think the deck was pretty sweet. Obviously, it had the potential to go 5-0 if I'd been a little bit more uh, speedy with my actions. Um, I've definitely beat opponents that timed out before, too. I mean, it happens, but... Man, that's true. I hadn't had to get my cat. That would have been enough. That's okay. Uh, thanks everyone so much for watching. I'll post this up as soon as I get edited, which is always a bit of a feat, but uh, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>